Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. This one on how to stop your fridge, freezer, or just freezer, leaking water. Uh, firstly, I apologise for the slight background noise in um, this video. I'm having to look after my son who's watching TV. Um, but anyway, on to the video itself. This is the bottom half, the freezer half, of a fridge combination fridge freezer. The top half of which my wife has decorated with all sorts of knickknacks. Um, for quite a long time now, um, the freezer half has been filling up with water on the on the floor about here, forming a big puddle, which then freezes and then gradually melts, drips out onto the floor. Where you can see I've got this rag and underneath it's actually rotting the wooden floor away. So I've decided it's long overdue time to fix it. Now, I've watched a few, quite a few videos on YouTube and a few websites on how to fix this, and all of them seem to say that the freezer itself has a self-defrosting mechanism. It, it warms up, melts the ice, which then drips out at the back, as you can see on this model, a little dark. But as you can hopefully see, um, there's a compressor and on top of it, there's a, like a drainage tray. Let's see if I can turn it so the light's a bit better. Um, and most of the solutions say there's a pipe that drains into this tray, it blocks up, you unblock the pipe, solves the problem. Well, not in my case, it just hasn't worked. In my case, the pipe is very short, drips straight into a tray here, tray seems completely dry, pipe's completely clear, so there doesn't seem to be any blockage I can see in the pipe causing this. So, what I'm trying now is I've removed the interior panel of the freezer by removing several screws and pulling it out. I can only pull it up halfway because all the wiring is still connected. And inside you can see the freezer element. What I've noticed is the actual freezer element is free from frost and free from ice. But underneath, in this kind of drainage area, is solid ice. So my theory is that the freezer is actually functioning properly. It is defrosting these elements here, but because there's so much solid ice blocking all the drainage below, the water is not able to pour down and drain. Instead, it's overflowing, spilling down the back and into the bottom compartment. So all I'm trying now is a simple defrost. I've unplugged the freezer. I'm hoping for this ice to melt. Once it's melted, I'll put everything back together and see if this problem begins to reoccur. I'm trying to speed it up a bit by using a bit of a hairdryer on the ice down here, but you're probably wiser just to leave it for a few days. So let's leave it for a few hours, uh, see if that makes any difference. Okay, we're now half halfway through defrosting. And as you can see, if I shine a torch in the fridge, there's the drain hole where the water is supposed to drain out. There's still a bit of ice floating in there and there's still a load of water there which shows that it's not draining yet. So I'm going to give it a bit longer to defrost. Um, hopefully there's just a bit of ice further down that's, that's still blocking the tube. Hopefully the water will drain by itself. And coming back to the freezer later on after it's been defrosting for a whole day, we take a look. We take a look inside and you can see there's some drain holes right at the bottom. This used to be completely full of ice and down inside the tube is full of ice. It's now completely dry. First of all, the water melted and then once the ice in the tube melted, the whole lot could drain away. And if we take a look in the basin around the back. Now on this freezer, you've got this hot, I think it's compressor or something that um, helps with, with the freezing. This gets quite hot, takes the freeze out of the freezer. And above it is this tray. Let's remove these two screws to show you the inside of the tray. Now pull the tray out gently. And it is full of water, which is exactly what I want. That's brilliant because that's how the freezer is supposed to function. What's supposed to happen is that every so often, every day or so, the defrost cycle should activate, it should heat the elements up, drain the water off, which should then drip through the inside, drip out of this tube here, 
Just focus there. The water should then pour into this tray uh, where it would then be heated on top of this and evaporate off. The problem with this freezer is there was so much ice at the bottom that even when the water was melting it wasn't able to drain through the system so the water instead would pour out the front of the freezer and then come out onto the floor. So all I'm going to do now is empty this water out, put the tray back in, bolt everything back together, turn the freezer on and hopefully it should work without spilling water onto the floor again. So in summary then, if you do have this problem of water coming out of your freezer, first of all, if possible, check around the back, make sure none of the interior pipes are blocked because um, they can block up sometimes. But what you might have to do is simply just completely defrost your freezer. You won't need to take it completely apart like I have. Just switch it off for 24 hours in a warm house and that should melt the interior ice completely and clear any blockages that way. Then hopefully you can turn your freezer back on and you won't have this problem again for some time. Hope that's been of use. See you next time and thanks for watching.